deserves an apology. You got lost on the mountain? That's kind of unusual. A lot of unusual things happened up there. Glad I finally made it. <clears throat> but I do have to say, considering what you went through, you seem to have <clears throat> bounced right back. That's the kind of resilience you're going to need if you hope to last two weeks around here as my plaything. I mean, as my student teacher. <clears throat> here we go. Now quiet down, everyone. I want to introduce you to my new toy. I beg your pardon. I mean your new student teacher, of course. Starting today, he'll be helping you with your studies. Tenchi Masaki. I look forward to working here. Sorry about this, Kawanagari. I hate to have you use your precious break time showing me around the school. No big deal. Don't worry about it. It's all in a day's work for the student council president. I do appreciate it. And, uh... The rest of you are okay with this? Oh, absolutely. Supporting the president is one of the jobs of the vice president. Unless, of course, you and the president would rather have this time all to yourself. That's not what I was saying! Entering data. Tenshi Masaki wants solitary time with the council president. Why are you putting that in your records? Gathering data around the campus is one of my most important duties as treasurer. I see, but there's been a misunderstanding. Oh, uh, why are you trying to get Mistress Momo alone? I won't let you lay a single finger on her! That's my duty as auditor! You're sure this is all coming from your position as auditor? <laughs> of course it is! What are you implying by that remark? <laughs> What seems to have caught your eye? You've got me all wrong! Right. Back off, you filthy animal! Entering data in log, Tenshi Masaki peeked up Momo Kawanagari's skirt on his very first day of work. Hey, that's not what happened at all! That's right! Stop implying things! I'm sure he's a helpless victim of his own temptation! Oh, Momo, you're so kind and understanding! Wait a minute, I object to that explanation! Huh? Is something the matter? 
just a feeling. I can't quite put my finger on it. This is the student council headquarters. Don't be shy. Please go on in. Uh. Ah! Just hang on, you'll see, Tori. We're going to give you a test. Why didn't anyone tell me? A test about what? About whether or not this Cretan intends to do harm to you. What? Why would Mr. Tenshi want to do something like that? The fact of the matter is, the school database has almost no information on Mr. Tenshi. We don't even know where he came from. So what would be the best way to get more information? My guess ask Mr. Tenchi directly. You're right, what a great idea! <laughs> <clears throat> and in this case, we'll be asking his body those questions. How will his body be able to answer you? It depends how we ask the question. No matter how much they resist, their body always answers honestly. Hey, Mr. Tenchi, what's your favorite food? Hmm. Hey, it doesn't seem to be answering. You're getting a little bit ahead of yourself. There's a trick to the technique, you see. Don't worry, Mistress Momo. The data shows that in the hands of Hanasaryu, even the most hardened spy is going to crack in an average of 7.2 seconds. <laughs> this won't take very long. Before you know it, it'll all be over. Will you quit squirming around? Hachko! Well, look who's finally calmed down. Everybody ready? Let's continue. <laughs> So, uh, Washu, why in the world am I here, strapped to this chair? Well, Master Tenchi, it's a long story, but there's someone who's in desperate need of your help. Someone I've met? No, I don't believe so. You see, there was a bit of an incident during my recent research. It seems that one or two people accidentally got caught up in a dimensional warp that was created during one of my experiments. And you have no way to retrieve them? I'm glad you asked. That's where you come in. I need you to rescue those poor castaways for me. Why can't you just go pick them up? I would, but there would be complications if you know what I'm saying. The problem is I'm such a genius and so famous. My mere presence would be extremely disrupting. So you don't want to be found out, right? <laughs> You're so perceptive. It's important that this job be carried out quickly and quietly. How do I get back? <laughs> with this weird outfit. Say what? No way! Oh, it's a person! Uh, uh, uh. Hi! Oh, hello. I was looking for someone. Can you help me? I climbed a tree to see if she was somewhere nearby, but I couldn't find anybody. Have you seen her? Uh, I don't know. What does she look like? Well, she's got these really pointy, kind of grumpy-looking eyes, and when she stares at you... You're scaring me just talking about her. <laughs> <sighs> first things first, who are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, calm down. I'm sorry. <laughs> Could she be...? Excuse me, I have a question. Huh? I believe you said you've been out here searching for someone? Yes, and I have to find her real soon. What a break. I'll bet anything this little girl and her lost friend are the exact two people Washu sent me out here to find. Don't you worry. <sighs> How about if I help you search for your friend? Really? Sure. I'm happy to help. <laughs> Thanks so much! What do you think? How about we take a look in that place? Oh, now that I think of it... What? 
I never asked what your name was. I'm Tenshi. Tenshi Masaki. That seems like a nice name. How about you? What's your name? They call me Momo. You know what? I have a feeling you and I are going to be best friends. Awful. I've never seen this room. Where am I? <coughs> hmm? Huh? Wait a minute. I thought this was the bottom floor. <coughs> that voice. Who's there? Ah! Meow. It's a kitty. I want to pet it. Are you for real? Uh. <laughs> Why don't you come along quietly? Hey, let me go. What do you think you're doing? Great work, you know, Joe. That's why you're the muscle on this team. Well, I did promise to protect the club. So, what's next? He knows about this place. We don't have much choice. Hold on, what are you gonna do? I have to think about it. Yeah, that should work. <laughs> hey, Kinajo, let's start by getting this guy's clothes Why off. Why is that necessary? Well, you could be a student council spy. Who knows what hidden weapons you might have on you? <laughs> One place left to search. Hmm. We have to make sure this dude doesn't pose a threat of any kind. Hold it right there! <gasps> I don't believe this! How did you find this site? <laughs> A transmitter? Ugh. You've got to be kidding! How did that get in there? What an interesting excavation you have going on here, right under the grounds of the school. The size of this area is approximately as large as the grounds of Takahashi Castle in Okayama Prefecture. The question is, what's about to happen? If you flee, we won't pursue you, but we'll show you no mercy if you stay and fight! Hey, quit running, you wimps! And now we'll be taking back Mr. Tenshi. Oh. <laughs> Here I come! Hold on, Hachiko! Don't worry, I'm not gonna let you fall! You saved the day! Um... Guys, I hate to undercut this 
dramatic moment, but you might want to look down. Huh? <laughs> Sorry about that. Now I'm ready to fight. Show Rose Boss, can it do? Come on, Ray. This isn't over, Puka. Momo, you go get Mr. Tenchi. Right. Stay clear, Mr. Sumo. You okay, Mr. Tenchi? <laughs> Tori. I can't believe this. Are you all right? Yes, I think so. It looks like the cave is beginning to collapse. Well, now that Mr. Tenchi's safe, what are we sticking around here for? Let's go, Momo. Mm, gotcha. Ready to move out? I should be fine. Thanks, Kawanagari. Only problem is you have no clothes. Yeah. <sighs> Look out! <sighs> seconds until cave-in. Move your butt! I've got you! We just made it. Is everyone crazy around here? Excuse me, Mr. Tenchi? If it's not you doing something weird, it's everyone else around you. What's the deal with this crazy place? You're hurting me? Huh? What? I'm sorry, I didn't realize You I... spy! Uh -huh. You have some nerve laying your hooves on Mistress Momo! No, I didn't mean to squeeze her! Entering current database, Mr. Tenchi has laid his hook on Mistress Momo. Duly noted. You've got it all wrong! Quit slandering me! You say we're lying?! stuff after class. Sounds like being a student teacher is dangerous. You have no idea, but it's just two more weeks. I'll be here to cheer you on. He just saw me. Master Tenshi just got in and he's probably tired, so don't bug him with a lot of, oh my goodness, did someone steal your pants? Are you sure you're all right? Ask me tomorrow. Apart from that, I'm sorry I had to leave you two with all the unpacking, but you both did a great job. Thanks. Yeah. We're here to support you. We want to help you accomplish your mission in any way that we can. Hmm. I hope today was the exception, not the rule. Tenshi, if they're gonna attack you every time you show up at school, maybe we should be there to help. I appreciate the offer. I really do. But I don't think they allow student teachers to bring in their own bodyguards. If you're that determined, I guess all we can do is keep offering support from the sidelines. Is she right? Things have to get better. I mean, after today, I can't imagine them getting any worse. I almost forgot to tell you, a package arrived today from Washu. Her note said it's stuff you'll need for your student teaching. So what did she send? Mm. Let's see! <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. A helmet? Why would a student teacher need a helmet? Huh. Body armor? She must think I'm teaching delinquents. <laughs> Look at this, Tenchi! A shield? There's no way I'll need that. She must have thrown it in by mistake. <laughs> Look at these charms! Huh? Does she think I'm in the middle of a war? A student teacher has no need for all this stuff. I think she's lost it. <laughs> Her school must have been really tough. <laughs> Here lies Tenchi Masaki. Somebody jumped a gun on your obituary. Maybe a hot bath will bring you back to life. That sounds pretty good to me. At least I'll be a clean corpse. This situation may be more complicated than I thought. No, 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 I can't think that way. It must be nerves, because the first day was such a disaster. A bath should perk me back up. I had no idea this job was going to be such a challenge to pull off. Now, where's that shower head? Here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in here, Ryoko? 
Don't be so shy. I was lonely while you were gone today. Let me do something nice. I'll wash your back for you. Forget it! Quit playing toy! Wait a minute, you're all beat up! Who did this to you? No way am I gonna let this slide. Someone's gonna pay for those cuts and scratches. If you get mixed up in this on top of everything else, it'll just get worse. Now don't you come snooping around the school. Oh, you're no fun. Master Tenshi, what is all the... <gasps> I should have known. Get out, Ryoko! Oh, shut it, you fuss budget. It's not a big deal. Not true, as a matter of fact, it's a very big deal! What is happening? Ryoko, were you hiding in here spying on Tenchi? I think someone's really jealous. I see you haven't changed a bit. Now, please, no ladies, ladies, let's be nice. Get out of here, everybody! This is impossible. Gravitational anomalies this huge don't just appear without warning. Communications are disrupted. How could everything go wrong all at once? Betty! Princess, you need to get out of here. Do you remember how the controls work? Yes, I do, but I won't go alone. I'm sorry, but you have to this time. I'll follow you soon. Benny, no! You have to go with me! Be well. both unknown to me. You could be in the service of monsters! Inukai, hold on for a moment. Tamaomi, have you seen these two before? I have no memory of them. One may assume they are not humans of our village. In that case, why should we not drive you away from our gates? We mean you no harm, trust me on that. We're simply looking for someone. Oh, really? What is your true relationship to this girl? Her father, her brother, or perhaps her kidnapper! You got it wrong! He's not kidnapping me! He saved me when I was falling to the ground and caught my butt with his face! Excuse me? He did what? Hey, could you find some better way of saying that? Huh? Let's try this direction. Okay. Why are you all following me? We have important business in this direction as well. Reports indicate there have been several monster sightings in the area. Really? Oh, yes. People have seen a beast that rips through the sky, firing arrows of light. A creature that lays waste to whole villages. What? At last, we found you. You're the monster, aren't you? Ryoko, what are you doing in this place? You mean you know this girl? Well, whoever you are, I've never seen you before. But if you know my name, you're after the bounty. That's fine. I was getting bored anyway. I might as well kill some time with you, sweet cheeks. It might be amusing for a while. It'll beat hanging with these huckleberries, that's for sure. No more of your insults! Oh! So you've decided you're strong enough to play with me? Here you go! This won't end well. Power exceeds all expectations. Uh. Wanna keep playing? Uh. Stop it! Uh. 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 I admit that was surprising, young lady. Turns out you had some hidden talents I wasn't aware of. Uh. Ryoko, she's a little girl. Just stop this. Excuse me. Much huh? as I hate to intrude. Uh. Huh? Don't move. Getting used to how things work around here? Oh, yes. Or as much as I can, considering all the chaos. Hmm? What's that thing? Huh? Oh. This is sort of a charm that was passed down to me from the shrine in the town where I grew up. Oh. So, for generations, the men in your family have been influenced by the shape of this artifact? I think there's a misunderstanding here. Oh, please. Just look at the shape, the length. Good girl. What else could it be for? And coincidentally, this event's going on at the school. 
Maybe we should get together and explore a little extracurricular activity, since you brought along a toy. I appreciate your kind offer, but... What a shame you have so much restraint. Ugh, those two are at it again. Huh? Excuse me, I'll be back after I separate them. <sighs> Just hand over the material! Where's your voucher? We don't need a damn voucher! We only want a little bit of it anyway! We only want a little. Sure you do. In the end, all those resources get wasted! <sighs> all right, you two. Just cut it out. Go away! Now, surrender your weapons. We're being discriminated against by the student council! They refuse to give us the materials we need! <sighs> We're all agreed, then. They get nothing until they come clean. The science club has been accused of deliberately misappropriating school resources. Oh. It's a phony charge! Absolutely! We need those tools and materials for our exhibit! It's all on the up and up! We would never use them to dig for treasure. The bottom line is, if you don't want trouble, give us what we need! If you bother Mistress Momo anymore, your head's gonna be looking for a new body! <laughs> That's enough! If you lack resources, make up for it with brains and wit. <sighs> Understood. Tori, did you handle the request from the drama club for extra resources? Yes, I approved it. Mm, thank you. Wait a minute, I don't understand. We seem to be pretty flush at the moment. So why'd you turn down... It's a simple system. We give the money based on how effectively they justify their budget request. This is a responsibility of the student council. Teachers aren't supposed to interfere. Not ever. If the science club's determined to set its own budget and resources, then it will need to take over control of the school. That's the bottom line here. We need to pick up some materials from the warehouse. It won't take long. Hachko, would you mind handling this? Whatever you wish, Mistress Momo. Very good, but there's quite a bit to pick up. Oh, no problem. If you need help carrying stuff, I'll do it. This is weird. All right, shall we? Someone else in here? I thought I heard a scream. Huh. Some fools must have slipped in. Now they're probably lost. Really? Is that possible? It wouldn't actually surprise me. This warehouse is huge. Equipment from every culture and sports festival in the school's history is stored here. The place is filled with booby traps, locked doors, and dead ends. You can't get through it without the student council guidebook. Any misstep you make in here is guaranteed to become a one-way ticket to the afterlife. Charged. Feel free to help me do that, by the way. Electrical work isn't really my cup of tea. What are you reading, Kinojo? This. Where did you find such a thing? That manga is older than we are. We're here. From sleep eternal, rouse thyself. The hour of festival has arrived. Unseal the lock of ancient wisdom's wealth. Oh, oh guardian, open thy eyes. Did you need that incantation just to show me the key? It makes the whole experience a little more mystical, you know? It was Mistress Momo's idea. Why doesn't that surprise me? How bad do you need book nine? Does it stop? <laughs> now that it's quiet again, I can keep reading. I thought it was gonna eat me alive! I hope that one missing book doesn't mess us up. I just wish we knew exactly what it is we're looking for. Huh? Ah! Quick, run! Ah! 
That stuff's very important. Don't drop it. Got it. Good. Yeah, see what happens without a guidebook. Hey, Hachko, we've got a big problem. No kidding. Uh, come on. Uh, why is this thing even in here? It's an iron ball that used to be part of Sports Day. Really? For one event? Never mind. It's not important. Uh. Uh. Oh. Hey, what are you? She'll be okay. Damn it. What? When we ran, I dropped the guidebook. Uh? No! <laughs> Mama, why are you crying? Oh, it's because I broke the tree, isn't it? I'm sorry I scared you. Go away! All you do is upset her! Be quiet! I told you! Just leave her alone! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! SHUT UP! <laughs> what did you people do to me? Hmm. Oh, really? As if you were worth doing things to. What did you say? You ought to be thanking Mr. Masaki. He risked getting doubly lost to go off and retrieve your metal bat while you were passed out. That was unnecessary. You ungrateful little... Hey, it's okay, Hachiko. No big deal. Now, how do we get out of here? Well, I've basically absorbed the contents of the guidebook. So as long as I have my bearings, I should be able to get us close to the exit. <sighs> if you're confident, let's do it. You ready? <sighs> If you're going to be a burden to us, we'll leave you here. <clears throat> Do we know if the other two girls from the science club are all right? Haven't seen them, and if they rot here, at least they won't cause any more trouble. <laughs> oh. Did you want to use this opportunity to settle our personal score? Sure, why not? Both of you, cut it out! We have no idea what's waiting for us up ahead. If we want to get out of here safely, we all have to work together. Have I made myself clear? I'll let you off the hook as a gesture of respect to Mr. Masaki. The exit ought to be on the other side of this mess. Stand back. Hmm? Fuka told me this once. If you're stuck in a maze and you're trying to get out, you have two choices. Play by the rules or punch your way right through the walls. Oh. Hold on. There's important material in those boxes. You may think it's important now, but in a minute, it's going to be trash. Without you? Go while you can! My sword! I've been defeated. Hachiko, what's happened to you? Pull yourself together! We have to get out of here! Huh? Take Hotchko and get out of here now! 
Come on, Hachiko, you've got to pull it together. You grow a pair. Uh, hey, shut up! My weapon will defend me against him. I'm not afraid. Done, pal. You've had your fun. Now leave my students alone. Crash. Girls are always so helpless. Huh? Oh, really? Huh? <laughs> I think you'd better take that back. Tina Joe! How dare you? You punched Mr. Masaki! Uh -huh. I'm all right. Listen, you both were very brave today. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> you! really think I'm going to let you escape after hauling you all the way to Earth? Now, don't be scared. What I'm going to do to you won't hurt. <laughs> I'm home. Glad you're back, big bro. Hey, how did you get that nasty scrape on your face? Doing preparations for the culture festival. Oh, you must have been working really hard. Are you wearing an apron? What's that about? Do you like it? <laughs> Wash, you got it for me to wear at the festival. Cute. It looks great on you. Sasami, why are you keeping Master Tenchi standing in the doorway? Huh? You're wearing an apron too, Aika? We're going to be competing at the culture festival. We're gonna run a sweet shop, but I had to get it approved first. Is she a transfer student? Maybe a celebrity chef from somewhere. We don't stand a chance if she gets approved. Two ponytails. You. What do you think? Does she even go to this school? I've never seen her before. We shouldn't approve her. Get ready, everyone. Now look directly at this. <laughs> I got permission from the student council by using this gadget. It's Wash's invention, the hypnolyzer. Well, it seems like a handy thing. What's your opinion? Do I look okay in this? I like it. Of course, everything looks good on you. <laughs> oh, I know. Wanted to hear it from you. Now look what you made me do. I'm blushing, Master Tenchi. Want to try something? We already made a big batch of sweets. Oh, is that the interesting aroma that I'm smelling? <laughs> <gasps> what? Where's that coming from? The kitchen. Big Sis Ryoko's making dinner for us tonight. Yeah, on her own? They can say what they want. When it 
it comes to food, I know Tenshi's tastes better than anyone. Hmm. I think it could use a little more kick. Ah. <laughs> and lastly. <laughs> Now it's just perfect. Ryoko, what on earth is in that pot over there? Isn't it obvious? I'm making Tenchi's dinner. I want it on record that I objected to this idea from the beginning. We can't serve him something that is filling up the entire house with bizarre multicolored fumes. And just why not? Because it stinks. Throw it out right now. No siree. Tenchi's eating it, and that's that. Yeah. Tenchi, I poured my heart and soul into this dish. You better appreciate it. Look <laughs> 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 <Our> behind you! <laughs> <laughs> From the Andre Nebula. It's an endagon I brought back from the planet Kalulu. It's fresh and tasty if you don't mind a little squirming. One bite will send it to the moon. Let's go, Tenchi. What are you waiting for? Open wide, you don't even have to chew. Yum. Try to get me. We've got to move. Let's beat it. totally disappeared. I want to thank you all for trusting us. We should thank you for keeping that space pirate from causing us harm. We're very grateful for what you mm. did. It seems strange to be saved by a little girl. You're all fine, and that's really what matters the most. Right. I have to agree. We still don't know anything about the two of you. Where you came from, how you got here... We have a mountain of questions and an antel of answers. We know one thing. You came here because you're looking for someone. We'd like to help you find whoever you're looking for as a way of saying thanks. You'd really do that? That's great. Means a lot to us. It's kind of difficult to explain. Momo got stranded here, and we're trying to find her friend who was supposed to be coming along after her. He's walking this trail like he has a guide beside him. Like someone's giving him directions on where to search. That thing in his hand must have something to do with it. What's in the little box? Some kind of divining rod? No, but it sort of works that way. Tenshi, if there's a signal coming from the ship, I should be able to pick it up on this thing. I keep trying, but it's just not working. Something burned the trees. From the top. Whatever it was gave off extreme heat as it passed through. This way! Hey! Where's my ship? Careful! Oh. Something blew up. It's the only way this hole could have been created.
just thought I'd drop by to see how you're doing. Oh. This place is hopping. Get ready for something huh? special, girl. Huh? Tasty, sweet, a colorful treat. Love the colors. They smell so good. I want all three. Everybody seems to really love your shop. Shirt sure, players. Uh huh. Uh, thanks for stopping by, Master Tenchi. That was amazing. Glad you enjoyed it. This has got to be a mistake! It's the total for both of you. Your friend said you'd be paying for her sweets, too. Another one, please! And keep them coming! Stop eating right now! I wish I could! They're way too delicious! I'm addicted! I refuse to pay for all of them! This bill is full hockey! Mm. Speak to the complaint department. Hey, Ryoko! Yeah? Well, 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 what do we have here? You don't scare me. She scares me. These customers have a complaint to lodge about the size of their bill. Yeah? Step into my office. I'm sure we can work this out. Our mistake! No need for violence! Hey, okay, please forgive us! They're making money hand over fist. Mr. Tenshi? Hmm? Are you on patrol duty, too? Sort of. Well, then, why don't we all just patrol together? Okay, girls? Fine by me, no problem. I'm gonna take a break. See ya! I'm okay with it. Uh -huh. Didn't you want to try the stuff at the sweet shop? I wouldn't mind taking a taste of everything, especially Sasami. She's so cute. We're off to the sweet shop. Enjoy your patrol. Oh, I can hardly wait. They're to having a wonderful time. Yeah, this is my idea of heaven. It's due to your efforts that this event is such a success. I don't deserve the credit. It's thanks to everyone's hard work. You too, Mr. Tenshi. You did a lot. I really appreciate it. It was nothing. I just hauled some stuff in my backpack. That's what he calls nothing? Hmm? Huh? I was just thinking. Mistress Momo, I need to go and work on my lines for the play. So soon? Afraid so. What play? The one Hotchko's been cast in as a member of the drama club. They're performing it tonight. It's called Beauty and the Prince. Hotchko's been cast as the prince. I think she'll do a very good job in that part. You should come see it with me, Mr. Tenshi. Oh! <laughs> That hair looks familiar. Sorry, Mr. Tenchi, but did it really bother you that much? Hey. We encourage teachers to be close to their students, but you've taken it a step too far. Won't happen again, Miss Kurihara. You can enter the Miss Junai contest or be fired. Those are your choices. Pick. Sure is a long line. I wonder what we'll see in there. Hey, what the heck? Watch out! There's an arm wrestling booth over there, and it seems to be quite popular. Okay, next. I'm so lucky. I held Kina Joe's hand for a long time. <laughs> That's weird. I wonder why she's so popular. Benny may not look that friendly, but she's actually very gentle and won't try to hurt you. You pointing to me? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Give it your best, Mr. Tenshi. Yeah, I'll try. Tenshi's fingers, and I'll crack you like an egg. I've heard what you can do with that hand. I don't want it near my man. I'll wrestle you for him, and I don't intend to lose. Oh, I 
feel like my hand is caught in a vice. What's her deal with the teacher? She's a real nutcase. <laughs> <laughs> Is she even human? I'm afraid I'm about to lose this. Come on, Mr. Tenshi. Where did you go? Please hurry, girls. There are a lot more of these. Thank you. You're both gonna have to work twice as fast. You have a very big sweet spell to pay off. My hands are starting to shrivel up. We should have brought Goriki for this. Oh, gosh. Now because of this, we're gonna miss the drama club's play. I really wanted to see Beauty and the Prince. Oh, listen, my beautiful princess. I'd bear any suffering to awaken you from your spell and plan to kiss on your lips one last time to seal my love for you. I know not what to do. Improvise. Go for it. Yeah, the show must go on. <clears throat> this audience is going to get an award-winning performance from me. duty and thought this would be fun. I wanted to play that part, but they gave it to him. So sorry. I've got to get away from here. Wait! You forgot my kiss! I don't remember being cast in that play. I thought I warned you about getting too touchy-feely with your students. You were watching me in the play? I've got my eye on you every minute. Just like a security camera, I see every move you make. You will do what I want. <laughs> so now we need to get you ready for the Miss Junai contest. I think I missed the entry window. Not to worry, I signed you up. Can't wait to see you strutting around in your dress. You both can leave after you finish up these last steps. exactly do you mean? <laughs> Take a look. Now I've got to get myself ready. You'll have to do the rest on your own. Uh, uh, that's me? <laughs> <laughs> You're actually gonna be a beauty contestant? <laughs> Sasani, stop laughing at Master Tenji. He looks very pretty.
See you at the show, Yoko. Or not. Huh? Check out this design. Our school's voluptuous principal, Miss Kurihara. Flaunting a generous display of skin in a skimpy and very revealing look. This isn't fair. You're competing against your own students. Hmm. What the? Oh, she sure doesn't look that good when she's giving Master Tenchi a hard time. He might give her a hard time when he sees that outfit. The judges have decided it's a runaway lead. And now, the final contestant, our student teacher, Mr. Tenchi Masaki. Uh <laughs> huh? Five thousand? Seven thousand? No, ten thousand? Ah! I thought he'd make a fool of himself, but instead he pulled it off. It's been a long time finding a prey worth breaking. I'm gonna enjoy this. He just, just won. won. I call Mr. Tenchi winner. Nobody has scored so high in all the years of this contest. As a woman, he rocks! Congratulations on your victory! <laughs> you did pretty well yourself, Momo. It was a fun contest filled with so many surprises. Yeah. I'm off to wash up. You should probably do that, too. I'm <laughs> <sighs> glad that's over. Hello? Huh? Who's there? <gasps> hey, what's wrong? Mr. Masaki, you're not wearing your dress and makeup. That's because the culture festival's over. Do you need something? <laughs> hey, if you're looking for help with the cleanup, I'm not available. <laughs> Classes are starting. I know that. Huh? What I want to know is, may I call you Miss Mr. Masaki? <gasps> uh, excuse me? Not all the time. I mean, just when we're alone doing girl talk. What? I'm confused. Also, sports day is coming up. You'll need a kick pleat skirt. <laughs> How do you like these high kicks? Pretty cool, huh? I'll need every one of those kicks in my fight to retain my student council seat. Lead the cheers for me. With you, my BFF looking so cute in your cheerleader outfit, I'll win! Hmm? Uh, 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 uh. I take it that's a no then? Yeah, that was a one time only stunt for the culture festival. Sorry, but I can't. Yeah, I get it. 
Your beauty as a girl has burned into my eyes. I see you in that dress over and over. And the memory of your long hair will be in my mind forever. Actually, I'd rather you erase that image as soon as possible. I can't! Ah. I've already made this adult erotic comic book of you! You're kidding me, right? I have the printing press working overtime! Everybody will get one! They'll be out tomorrow! Great! <laughs> I'll see you manana, Miss Tenchi Masaki! Yeah, manana, I can't wait! You're quite the popular lady these days, Miss Tenchi. Yeah. How did you all get in here? The back door was open and we tippy-toed in quietly so as not to interrupt your conversation. From what I heard, somebody has the hots for you, right? I think it's great the students have an open mind. They've accepted you totally as a girl. You'll need my help again. By sports day, we'll have to girly you back up. No, absolutely not. I can't run around with long hair in my eyes. I'm the game referee. What a shame. You're cute with long hair. I eat huh? What's Get this? Get that back. What are you hiding? Huh? <gasps> hey, I want to see too. <laughs> this certainly leaves nothing to the imagination. <laughs> it takes infatuation with Miss Tenshi to a whole new level. Hey, I want to see the pictures. Absolutely not. You'll have to wait till you're much older. You're such a party poop. You might as well doll it up, Tenshi. When this comes out, everyone will have already seen up your skirt. No way! Launch mode set! <laughs> When big on sports day, nobody will defeat us. <laughs> Certain victory is ours. My prey is in my sights. <laughs> Today we'll show them how tough we are. Nicely, we want to be good sports on sports day. would be heated. Wait till you see what happens when everyone's out on the field competing. A lot is riding on the outcome today. Everything is on the line, including all of our seats on the student council. We can't afford to lose. I hope we can all have fun as well. I don't think that's what we've been doing all this prep for, but we'll try to squeeze it in. Good. What's with the tense face, Hachiko? You look ready for war. Sports day is like war. You either win or lose, and you don't want to lose. The way I see it, our opponents are the enemy, and defeating them isn't going to be fun. Hachiko, my friend, you need to lighten up and chill out. This is supposed to be a school festival of sports and good times where everyone has fun. I hear you, Mistress Momo, but I can only take that so far. Fun isn't the same for everyone. Some people see sports as a chance to shine and do their best. Other people don't care about it at all. I suppose. Look at Tori. You might not believe it, but she's having fun. Compiling data and using it to measure every student's athletic ability in their sport is quite interesting. See? Now I get the picture. Okay, I'm going to be the best me with all my might, and I'm going to win! So why? What do you mean? This is sports day, right? It certainly is. Is there some kind of problem? Not exactly, but don't you think I look kind of weird with all this padding on me? Well, stop obsessing and get over yourself. It suits you just fine. Though maybe you could use a neck protector as well. No thanks. What am I getting ready for that requires all this equipment? Must I go over this again? I've already explained everything to you. You said that a mandatory part of my student-teacher training course was to referee all the games on sports day. <laughs> so you do understand. I understand what I'm supposed to do. What I don't understand is why I have to wear all this stuff. Our sports day here is somewhat unique. It's patterned after a folklore legend that's been passed down from generation to generation. It can be quite brutal. Brutal? I'm afraid so. You'll be able to see for yourself very soon. <laughs> now, everyone listen up. There'll be an extra incentive for the winning team. 
The most valuable players club will receive additional resources and funding for the entire year. Yeah, cool, right, best ever! Let's hear it! Want more resources? More resources, more resources! And do you want resources. more funding? More funding, more funding, more funding! And by the way, the popular funding. Miss Tenchi is Mr. Tenchi today and wants to show his masculine skills for this event as your volunteer warrior. I'm going to be a warrior. Hey, I don't remember volunteering for this. Isn't it nice you're so popular, Mr. Tenchi? Not so much. I'd rather be an unknown. Now, on to the games. Let sports day begin. It's so exciting. Everyone's pumped up. Except me! First up is the obstacle course competition. Runners, take your positions. <laughs> this race belongs to me. We'll just see about that, because I don't plan to lose either. What are the rules of this game? I think it's obvious they have to overcome obstacles. I get that, but isn't it too dangerous for them to be carrying swords? Oh, quit your worrying. According to an old safety manual, as long as there are no steel blades, swords are allowed. How old is that safety manual? Come on, Gorky, where are you? <laughs> Well, I warned you. Aren't you glad you have that extra padding? It's not nearly enough. Why allow Fuka's team to have Goriki? Why not? Huh? There's no mention in the safety manual about it. You need a new manual. I'm catching up with you, Fuka! <laughs> the game is heating up quite nicely now. But this isn't a fair game, at least not the way you're running it. Life's not fair. It's filled with hurdles. You have to find a way to survive and overcome them just as you do in this course. Your biggest obstacle is your competitor. I can tap right into her info. I found her weak point, and I'm gonna use it to win. No! Give, give it back! Give it back! Give me back my sword! Hotchko, get up! Pull yourself together! I can't! I'm scared! Something made Hachiko switch to little girl mode. If she stays there, it's no good for our team. <laughs> but it sure is good for mine. Let's go! According to my data, little girl Hachiko is impaired. She has only 2% or less of her normal physical ability. Oh, boy. Hachiko, get it back! Don't let her keep your sword! I'm really scared, Momo. I don't know if I can. Of course you can! Don't let your fear stop you from acting! What do I do? Trust me, we've got your back! All you have to do is focus on your strength! <laughs> Looks like I'll be taking the first place win! <laughs> That's my girl! <laughs> Give me back my sword right now! Getting close, almost there. Got it. So will you be able to shut him down? Hacking complete. Let's see if this works. Take her out, Goriki! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's the problem with this device? Come on, why won't it work? It's no good. Huh? You busted him? Fuka. Huh? How about you and me finish this fair and square? All right, now just give me a moment. I've got one thing to do, and then I'll be happy to face off with you. It's a big win for the white team! You did it! Way to go, Hachiko! <laughs> this really sucks! Oh, the next match is mine! You better believe it! So this next event is called the Chicken Fight? <laughs> it's a popular tradition on sports day. Something tells me this won't be easy to referee. Bound to be a lot of foul plays. <laughs> Sounds like they're out for blood. And it's not chicken blood I'm talking about. Hey, we have very simple rules. If your captain's ribbon falls off her head, you lose. Got a question for you. Hope I can answer it. Why is that oversized tin can competing? You should apologize for being so rude. He's not oversized, just husky. I'm still bothered that he's allowed to participate in the obstacle course. 
He's not enrolled here as a student. According to this institution's bylaws, non-students are strictly forbidden from taking part in special school events. Not to mention the fact that your player's not even human. Are you saying that robots don't have basic rights? Who made you the judge of what Goriki can do? As usual, you're missing the point. Why don't you all just calm down? We should let the referee do his job and settle this issue. Let me see. It's an obvious answer. Goriki is going to be allowed to participate. You guys lose. Too bad. At least we tried to make it fair. Despite all the odds, we're going to go for the win. Yeah, whatever. Bring it on. Let the match begin. <laughs> wow, you are so strong. Leave it to me, Mistress Momo. I'll make sure they never lay a finger on you. with my work, or do you still want to complain? You're fine. Please ignore my comments. But that's not fair fighting, is it? It is when you're fighting to win. That's three points for the red team. The white team pushed ahead with disastrous results. All four white team units were wiped out. Medics, please get the injured off the field. Only one more battle left. No matter how bad it seems, keep fighting. <laughs> Watch out, everyone. Punch coming from Goriki. Smart maneuver. But we're still in the lead, and we have more power than you to bring home a win. Well, power alone isn't what decides a match like this, and we'll prove it. We need to make sure that no matter what they do, we don't lose. And I have something in my pocket that'll seal the deal. Take a peek. Here. Amazing. There's plenty more, Master Tenshi, enough for seconds. So please dig in, help yourself. Thanks, I will, Aika. Ow. Wow, that just made my toes wiggle. Guess being a student teacher doesn't give you much time to eat. Yeah, but at least I won't get fat. So who's winning the sports contest? Well, both teams are running neck and neck at the moment. The white team has Hachiko as their top scorer, and Kina Joe's coming on strong for the red team. Fat girl loves to show off her strength. <sighs> All right, time for me to get back to refereeing. Keep up the good work, big bro, Tenchi. Thanks. We're about to begin the finals. Afterwards, I'll be soaking in a hot tub. Master Tenchi, no one seems to know. What's the final competition? Well, it's a little different. Hard to describe. You'll have to see for yourself. Hmm? In this corner, white team sumo wrestler, the one and only... Momo the Magnificent! In the other corner, for the red team, the brawny Benny Kinojo! Sumo wrestling? They aren't fat enough. How come they're facing off with their bottoms touching? Doesn't that position seem kind of odd to you? Not really. Not if your butt is your biggest asset. Ryoko, that's so crude. Don't you think they should turn around? Why are you so upset? You're not a bottom beater, are you? What? I take offense at that. Do you think my rear end is competitive, Mr. Masaki? <laughs> Ready? Bottoms up. Begin. Hey, quit ogling the merchandise. Uh, I'm doing my job, that's all. Yeah, a guy's dream job. What boy wouldn't volunteer for this? Mr. Masaki is an ass man. I've entered the data. That's wrong! All I want is to get this thing behind me. Wait, I didn't mean that. Hey, whose idea was it for the sumo butt standoff anyway? Sorry, I can't take credit. It was Kawanagari's idea that sports day should end with a keister contest. Uh-huh. You're pretty good at this. So are you, Benny. Did you think you'd have a better chance at winning <laughs> if I couldn't use my hands? Winning or losing wasn't really on my mind. Huh? I just wanted to have some quality time with you so we could talk about stuff. Talk about what? To find out how you were doing and feeling. Girl talk, you know? Stuff like that. 
So if they looked at each other face to face, you would just focus on beating me to a pulp. So I thought this was the best way to have a chit chat. Is that like Pratt chatter? You know, you're kind of weird. Yep, but at least I don't try to cause pain to anyone with my words. My chaser tape, that's pain, isn't it? Right! Mama, what do you want from me? They want you to be my friend, Benny. Is that so hard? Yes, it is! Look out! Are you both okay? Oh, did we lose points for that? What about you, Kina Joe? Get away from me, you creep! What? I pretend you weren't caught in a field! Oh, thank goodness this final event is over. I can go home and soak in the tub. Not so fast! Huh? They both went down at the same time. There was no declared winner! Excuse me? What numbers do you have for the final score? 1,050 to 1,050. It's a tie. Sports day is not over until this match is complete. Neither team can win until that eye is broken. Attention, students! Sports day has been extended to complete the final match. Resuming now! We're gonna go as long as it takes until one of these teams collapses. Or I do. The South? Colombia! Correct! Colombia is the South American country that connects the seven countries of Central America via Panama! I know that! Tiebreaker. Knock it off! No way that was a legit tiebreaker! You need to concede. Your team lost. No way! Who ever heard of Sports Day ending with a quiz that's not even close to an actual sport? Close enough to let us go home. Are you nuts? You think I'm just gonna concede? This means everything! She's right about that. We're not trying to make your life difficult, Mr. Misaki, but we just need to win so we'll have extra resources and funding to go after the treasure. Treasure? <laughs> Are you talking about what's supposed to be here? Forget what you just heard, Mr. Misaki. Right now, we need to set it straight as to whether a quiz can be regarded as a proper sports day event. You raise a good question, and we as student council will look into it. Council President Momo will mull it over and come up with an answer for you. This could be the first time we agree on something. I think the odds of that happening are highly unlikely. If your win is voided because the tiebreaker was illegal, I hope you don't run away crying again. I'm not running anywhere except after you, Fuka. Now don't let her push your buttons. She's upset about the quiz and is taking it out on you. Have you finished mulling yet, Momo? <laughs> Let's do some more overtime! Do I have a vote here? The president has ruled in your favor. It's your turn to choose the new tiebreaker. Well, this better not be fake news! Or I won't vote for you again. I choose an eating contest. That is not a legitimate sports day event either! <sighs> <sighs> there you are! Are you tired, Mr. Tenshi? Totally exhausted. I wasn't expecting Sports Day to go on past midnight, but the eating contest will break the tie and I can go home and just soak in my tub. About that, there's a problem. It's become a food fight. Keep it coming. Ha! <laughs> you girls never tire out. How do you do it? Huh? <laughs> I could break the tie if we just had a sleeping contest. Benny, let's finish the bun battle. Uh huh? Oh, don't do that. I'm in enough trouble as it is. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, now, what a cozy couple. It's not what you think. How do you know what I think? You're too busy with the younger girls to give a thought to me. So? Just relax. Nothing's going on here. Oh, save your breath! <laughs> Ow, take it easy. Sounds like your body aches all over. That's because Ryoko can really pack a mean punch. That reminds me, you'll be starting the door monitoring job tomorrow, right? Yeah, I almost forgot. Well, the student council passed a very strict new rule that you need to be aware of. They say the dorm is now off limits to men, and any man who dares to come in may not leave in the same shape as when he entered. What? But don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll be fine. Bye-bye. Hey, hang on a minute. <laughs> Crud. I suspect my new school colors are going to be black and blue. Mm. This must be the girls' dorm, because it's plastered with signs warning guys not to go in. Okay, me, Mr. New Dorm Monitor. Welcome to our dorm! 
Mr. Tenchi! Reporting for duty. Okay, come with me and I'll show you around the dorm. Hurry up! Uh, this way! Uh, uh. <laughs> like a spider leading him into her web! Spider! Don't let it near me! I was merely using a figure of speech. I'm gonna make a web of my own and lure him away from her so our science club has that teacher in our pocket which will end up getting us perks! This is our cafeteria. And this is our bathing room. Most of the dorm bedrooms are on this floor. I thought I heard voices. Oh, nice to see you, Mr. Tenchi. Why are you greeting me in your underwear? You'll have to get used to it. This is what I wear around uh, the dorm. Please cover Black up. Black underwear? I've never seen you wearing that before. Look, the color's not really the problem. The lack of clothes is certainly the biggest issue facing us at the moment. Looks to me like your mind is somewhere else, which is why you're getting so upset. If you're saying Mr. Tenchi's mind is in the gutter, you're wrong. He's very proper. All guys are natural wanderers, and before you know it, their hands are wandering all over you. Could we change the subject? This is getting weird. Afraid to admit that the way I look in my underwear is exciting to you? Hey, I'm an excitable guy. <laughs> Just leave me alone while I'm in the huh? dorm so... You're gonna have a problem here. Absolutely not! Wait up, Kina Joe. Mr. Tenchi, I heard you were the new monitor. I'm sure you'll see plenty of us. I already have. Could you put on some clothes? Well, that would be kind of silly. I'm about to step into the shower. Could you do it anyway? Mr. Tenchi's just trying to do his job, and he can't if he's all turned on by you. Oh, yeah? I never really said that! Please, Benny! There's no dress code here. You can't tell me what to wear. She's right. Where'd he run off to? Find the spot. Oh, that's good. I can't hold it forever. Please, Mr. Tenchi, don't move like that. I'm almost there. Just hold it very still. Don't panic. We won't let you fall. Uh, okay. Thanks for the help. Sorry to have to bother you with this when you're busy just getting started here. No bother. Although it might be better if I got up on the ladder. We don't want Rui to get hurt. She loves changing bulbs. She's extremely passionate about it. How oh, odd. Ah. Yeah, she's full of surprises. Huh? Basic rule to know when flirting with the opposite sex, it is really not sexy to fart in the face of a guy when you're flashing your panties. Okay, but I always fart when I'm nervous. If it happens, don't do it twice. Just stick with the plan to fall into his arms. I've got to hold it in. You seem a little shaky, Rui. Oh, no, I'm fine. You look like you could fall. Mm -hmm. This ladder's starting to wobble. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm fine. Yes. I feel something. Mm -hmm. It's small. Huh? It's a spider! Please look over my head. Please get me. You're squashing Mr. Tenshi. It's a spider god. I'm afraid to look. Oh, only one one. I can't feel anything below my ears. Eating, repairing the roof, now scrubbing the bathing room. What a day. I feel like an overused plow horse. Huh? Close to bathing time. Better finish before the girls show up. Huh? A time change note? The bath is open? <laughs> Nobody's here! Yay! Hey, Momo, don't forget to wash up first. That's right. Bathers are required to cleanse before entering the water. The sole purpose of soaking in the bath is to purify you. Oh, please, I know all that. I'm trapped, and the whole student council's naked in front of me. Not good. Oh, I think they got bigger again, didn't they? That's right, but it takes a lot of extra effort to stand up straight. Well, that doesn't seem like a bad trade-off to me. <gasps> Want to have beauties like mine? I'll show you my technique. How's it work? You massage them like this, but you have to hold still while I demonstrate. There's no scientific data proving that massage will stimulate breast growth. If you don't have any facts to say it doesn't, why not try? More fun than pulling weeds. How can I get that assignment? That should be enough for now, because you're still growing. Don't want to stretch them too much. Now get some warm water on you so you don't catch a cold. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Why are you in that tub? I was cleaning and I couldn't escape before you all came in. 
You're in hot water. And it's gonna get a lot hotter when I report this. According to my data, you already have a bad reputation. You're gonna feel the consequences of ogling us in our birthday suits, buddy. This is bad. How can I hide? They won't see you. I've got you covered. Now, we need to talk business. The science club is getting more and more out of hand. We need to keep a close eye on them. Just in the last few months, they've committed more than 50 infractions. That includes embezzlement and illicit occupation of buildings on the school grounds. We're gonna have to take some kind of action. Let's not waste our time thinking about it. This requires brute force. No mercy, no listening to their stupid excuses. Give them a thorough beatdown. No, physical force is not the way the student council should behave. Huh? Do you have indigestion? No, it was just a little burp. Anyway, let's try to find a solution that makes everybody happy. Are you serious? What universe are you living in? According to the simulations, the probability of an agreeable solution is almost zero. Why should we work things out with them? They'll just take advantage of any kindness. And right now, Rui has proof they've been running around behind our backs and getting away with embezzlement. Worse than that, I'll bet at this very moment they're plotting to snatch the treasure before we can even get near it. You know about the treasure? You've got to be quiet. They'll discover you. Get down. Oh, 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 go. Get free. Oh. Uh -huh. uh, oh, what should I do? Momo and the others don't know what they're getting into. This is bad. No matter how much chaos goes on around here during the day, everyone pretty much goes to sleep on time. Huh? What are you doing up? It's after 11. Huh? You discovered our secret, did you? You're eating already? It hasn't even been three minutes yet! Sorry, I was so hungry, I just couldn't wait! Why did you bother cooking it at all? Mr. Masaki, since you accepted our bribe of a bowl of ramen, you'll keep quiet about this, right? The rules say we're not supposed to be cooking anything after 10 p.m. You two are impossible. But I guess making a bowl of ramen doesn't really qualify as cooking. It falls more into the snack category. Huh? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. That's the three-minute bell. Voila, time to dig in. That's a pretty handy robot you created there. Tell me something, what kind of power source does it use? Don't know. Seriously? I drafted the basic plans, but to tell you the truth, I'm not too clear on what makes it go. You just assembled it, pushed a button, and it started moving? Pretty much, yeah. That's actually a little alarming. But you could do so much with those skills. Just think you could use your talents to help people instead of causing chaos and trouble everywhere you go. Don't sit there and accuse us like that. Our work does help people, Mr. Know-it-all. We're in the midst of reforming society. I beg your pardon? That's right. We're about to. You're spitting food all over yourself. Sorry about that. It's kind of a crusade, but we're really committed to it. First, we're going to end the student council's tyranny. Tyranny? They think they can do whatever they want because they control the budgets for all the clubs. But that doesn't give them the power to control people's behavior. Take Kinojo, for instance. What's so different about Kinojo? Aren't you all members of the science club? You're mistaken, Mr. Tenchi. Kinojo doesn't belong to any club. What? Are you serious? To tell you the honest truth, we have no idea what that girl's even up to most of the time. She showed up here one day, but she doesn't know much about herself either. Well, that's very unusual. I don't get it. How can that be? She has no memories of her past. It's not even clear if Kinojo's a real name. We give her some time alone, hoping that she'll have a breakthrough. When everyone's in bed, she's usually up on the roof thinking. So, I'm confused. Why is it you three hang out together? It's not like we're besties or anything like that. We've been helping her search for something. I she wonder what it could be she's much. looking for. I'm sorry. Is it possible? Huh? <gasps> is it? It's close. Close? What's close? Don't make a sound! Where is it? Where is it? Underneath. Will we get ready? What are we looking for? You help too, uh, Mr. Tenchi. What? Here, did Gorky get it wrong? Ugh. There's nothing more we can do tonight. We'll run some tests tomorrow and make sure he's operating properly. Excuse me. See you tomorrow, Mr. Tenchi. Right. 
This is a very troublesome event. As far as I know, Wariki's treasure sensor has never gone off in the dorm before. Mm-hmm. Huh. It stopped working. What in the world was that all about, I wonder? I believe your name is Kuranai, if I'm not mistaken. How tragic for you to have lost all your relatives. You're very brave for one so young. Their royal highnesses must have sensed a real strength in you to entrust you with the care of their dear daughter. I hope you will justify that trust in fulfilling this task. You freed me. Do you really think that's smart? After all, I could crush her throat. Then what happens? The royal line would be destroyed. <sighs> Why should... Uh... It's not Benny. It's Kuranai. How many times must I tell you that? Right. Hey, is this my ship? Yes. It's called the Peach Blossom. It's a gift from the Jurai family. Peach Blossom. And it's the ship that's going to take me far away? That's right. It's your destiny, Mistress Momo. What about you, Benny? You're coming with me, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> I think this is the right place. Hey, there's something over here! What is this? I've never seen anything like it. <gasps> She's okay! That's great news. Now if I can get this thing to work right, we can call someone for help. Momo. Huh? The truth is, I'm the one who was sent here to help you and Benny with your mission. Now that you two have been reunited, things should start to happen in a way that gets you back on track. Sorry you had to go through this disruption. You're not staying? No. I'm glad I got to meet you. And now... Oh. supposed to happen. Benny! Benny! So you are up here. <laughs> Mr. Tenchi. Did you come up here for a reason? No need to get freaked out. Just wanted to have a little chat. Is it okay if I sit by you? <sighs> there we go. What a view. The stars sure do look beautiful from up here, don't they? Too many to count. You like stars, Kino Joe? Not really. It just calms me down to look at them. What do you really want? I want to talk about that thing you're searching for. <laughs> I suppose those two open their big mouths. I presume that it's something pretty important. Don't worry about it. It's none of your business. I was wondering if it's connected to the <sighs> treasure everyone... How do you know about that? I'm just here to talk. Can you put that down, please? It doesn't encourage conversation. Come to think of it, I've got something I want to ask you, too. Hmm? How about telling me exactly who you are, Mr. Tenchi? I'm just a regular old student teacher. Don't lie to me! Don't forget, I was there. I saw how you brought down that big robot. 
That was just instinct. The adrenaline brought that out in me. Do you think I'm stupid? If you don't want to tell the truth, we can play this a different way. What do you have in mind? I'll question you with my club! I'm not really a big fan of that plan! I have no clear memories of my distant past. I don't even know exactly who I am. But there's one thing I know for sure. I don't belong here. I don't fit in, and I'm not a normal person! Yeah, what's not normal about you? Show me a normal high school girl who can handle a chunk of metal like this! Taken. With this power, I could accidentally hurt someone. It's all I can think about anymore. Since I'm not like anyone else, it's dangerous for me to be around people. Have you thought about just putting down the club? I thought I was doomed to total isolation, but then I found you and realized I wasn't alone. I'm right here. Since you won't talk, I've decided to beat the truth out of you. You'd better fight back, Mr. Tenchi, or you and this roof will be smashed into a million pieces. Do I have a vote in all this? You can reveal yourself or you can bleed. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. What is all the commotion up here? What is that? Look out, Kwanagari! Ah! both okay, right? Are we still alive? <coughs> Why do you have your arm around me? I I'm sorry. I was just trying to help you. Well, well, uh -huh. here you are in the courtyard, and with two partners, no less. I thought I'd made myself clear. I told you to stop being so touchy-feely with the students. You got this wrong! Since you don't seem to listen, I'll have to use a more forceful lesson. Somebody help me! Benny, your fingers are hurt. Keep your distance. this whole patch so what's the deal is this ready yet go away go set the table make yourself useful i'm not leaving i'm keeping an eye on you girls and these grills stand there as long as you want this meal's in honor of master tenshi and we're not eating until he finishes his work hey thanks for inviting us we owe him a lot for saving our friend here you're welcome we should thank you we couldn't have done this if you hadn't gotten permission to use the courtyard who are these friends of mr tenshi's normally only dorm students and proctors are allowed in here <laughs> Since you were going to all this trouble for Mr. Tenchi's sake, how could we not let you use the facilities? Well, that plus the delicious barbecue you brought in. <laughs> huh? mm. <laughs> uh -huh. Apparently we have an eager stomach. This data confirms that smiling over your shoulder has 80 times the seductive force of smiling straight ahead. Ah, I'm bored, guys. Why is the courtyard so busy? Mm. Uh, uh, huh? Why are you here? We live here. Huh? Huh? You again. <sighs> we're not here to pick a fight. Sorry for intruding. Come on, ladies. Wait! What's the problem? I said we're leaving. Isn't that good enough? That's not what I meant. Why don't you stay and have some food? I think for these kind of events, the more the merrier, don't you agree? Sasami, can we handle it? Sure! We got plenty of food, why not spread it around? This is ridiculous. What makes you think we'd be willing to take handouts from our... Uh... Sure about that? Good, that settles it. Let's have a nice friendly party together. What do you say? <sighs> it's not perfect, but at least it'll keep out the rain. Hmm. Peak penetration, 74 degrees. A perfect medium rare. My super secret meat sauce is ready to go. I have you super secret meat sauce. I have you super secret meat sauce. Yoko, right on. Boss off of it. Wow, what service? Um. Uh. Want me to flip you some veggies? No, thanks. Somebody threw the party switch around here. You're finally down off the roof. 
We waited as long as we could. Thank you. Everyone's getting along. I wish it was always like this. Hmm? It's no fun feeling like you're all alone in the world. Yeah. I know, because I was alone for so long. I never realized that. Oh, but now I'm a lot better. I have all these great friends around me. And you know what? It feels fantastic. Hmm. Come on, guys. If you don't move your feet, you're gonna lose your meat. She's right. We better go join the party. The guest of honor is here. Say them some food. Tenchi, I wasn't expecting you. Where's Momo? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Looks like our little bird is quite busy. She's flitting around a lot. Uh. She's left a clear trail behind her, though. I can almost see her current location. Huh? She's getting an award for her volunteer activities. She's assimilating. Washu. Come on, there must be a way I can help those two girls get back. I'm willing to do anything within my power, anything at all. Whatever you say. Do we have to do this right now? Can we at least eat lunch first? Do you ever think about anything except your stomach? Let's concentrate. How can we infiltrate Momo's school? Why can't we just race in there through the front door? It was made clear that we can't bring attention to ourselves. We need to do everything we can to keep a low profile. A disguise would work. Maybe Tenchi could sneak in as a girl at the school. Oh, I'd pay to see that happen. It's a ridiculous idea. I don't think so. He'd look great Excuse me. Female. Does anyone have a workable idea? How do I know? Don't I've lose focus. Ideas? I think you could still have men's rooms and ladies' Is rooms. Is there any There's game plan that doesn't have me there? wearing a dress? There must be some male teachers, right? A teacher. Great idea. I think you found the solution. Let's <laughs> review what's happened up to this point. We've been trying to save the two castaways who were caught up in the dimensional warp. We sent Tenchi into the past, but that effort failed. Momo and Kinojo got caught up again, and we lost track of them. Then, after an extensive search through many dimensions, we finally found a sign of where they might have ended up. And wouldn't you know it, they surfaced in our current time. We've even been able to pinpoint a location. And this is? The Junai Academy. It's a girls' school on Earth. So if we go there, we can save Momo? All I can really say is, it's possible. After all, we still don't know why that last rescue operation failed, do we? Most likely some unknown condition needs to be addressed, something we just overlooked. So that's it. You, Master Tenchi, will go and infiltrate the Junai Academy. We'll figure out a way to get you installed as a student teacher. That's how you will do your reconnaissance. I get it, but it seems a little awkward. If it's a girl's school, wouldn't one of you fit in better? Didn't you say you'd do anything within your power? Uh... Something like that. Ryoko, you'll gather information on the school's surroundings. You understand? As you wish. <sighs> Madam Aika, you'll be Ryoko's support and go-between. Just leave it to me. Sasami, you look after Master Tenchi for us. Right! Establishing a fake identity turned out to be a piece of cake. As a student teacher, you can survey the environment. Then you'll be able to decide on the best course of action for us. You call the shots. Understood. I hope accepting this assignment wasn't a mistake. This place feels like it's about to eat me alive. Ugh. Come on, you guys. When are you gonna find the treasure already? Sorry, we're doing the best we can. But we don't have enough money or workers to do it very quickly. Even the students who joined thinking it sounded interesting got bored and quit really quickly. <laughs> they didn't have any money, and they didn't like getting paid in snacks. <laughs> Yay, treasure, treasure! Where could you be hiding? That's not good enough. I expect better from you. <sighs> I even gave you a top-of-the-line robot to help you with this project. It's like giving chopsticks to a pig. If you don't get results soon, I'm gonna have him self-destruct. Don't say that! Goriki's our friend! That's mean, even for you! 
this job and there's no other time to get it done can't you finish it when you get back to the school i wish i could is everything all right mm, all good thank you if there's anything you don't understand i can teach you one-on-one -on -one privately i won't read anything out even if it takes all night thanks if i need your help i'll certainly let you know <laughs> hey, <what the> <laughs> look that's funny you're misspelling everything huh? There's one here and here and a couple more here. If you turn it in looking like this, you're gonna be in big trouble. Uh, oh. huh? Kina Joe? We need your help searching for the treasure. Here you go. Give me one good reason why Tenshi should drop everything to help you out with your little treasure hunt. Yeah, Ryoko's right. Your shenanigans always end up being trouble and a lot of unnecessary work for Tenshi. I know that Mr. Tenshi and the rest of you are more than just ordinary people. We need your special powers to help us. Uh, 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 I'm begging you. Mm. I'm coming, Mr. Tenshi! Huh? What are you here for? The same thing as you. <gasps> Be quiet, you brats! Mr. Masaki's in the field with the science club today. What? For what purpose? I don't know. He took off with those little bitches. When today was the day I was going to start training him. Wow. Would you look at this place? It's way bigger than I expected. Ask her if you want some more details. She knows a lot more about it than I do. Uh, excuse me? Yes? <laughs> huh? huh? Miyoshi? The Galaxy Police sent her to this planet? Well, hello, everybody! What a nice surprise! What brings all of you here? <laughs> Don't you think we're overreacting? Not under the circumstances. This is a dire emergency. Mr. Tenchi's been kidnapped by the science club. Who knows what danger he's in? Kino Joe's long, thick black club could be dangerously close to him right now. Only two people in the world would be worried about that. You and Ms. Kurihara. It appears that the three accompanying Mr. Tenchi have been taken captive as well. What? We have to form a rescue party. Little Sasami's in danger. <laughs> It's actually an interesting story. I've been sent here on kind of an infiltration mission. Really? I'm trying to prove that there are criminals here who have been illegally manipulating space and time. Mm -hmm. Are you saying you have the proof that such a thing really exists? Oh, please don't be silly. You'd never find something like that on a planet as backward as this. Then why are you wasting your time? Well, since I'm down here anyway, I thought that searching for treasure sounded like it could be a lot of fun. I happened to come across Fuka and the others, and I decided I'd help them out with their exploration down here. But this has to stay just between us, okay, you guys? If anyone finds out, then my infiltration will be blown, and we don't want that to happen, do we? So this treasure you're pursuing, does it really exist? Yes, it does. Huh? And if you're interested, we'll show you the proof we found. I'm all set. I am as well. Madam President, Allow me to explain our plan. Here's the proof. Oh! Uh, I dropped that after I tracked down Momo. We found it one day when we were excavating. It was in a layer of Earth that happens to be a little over 1,300 years old. And that makes it... An, an out-of-place out of artifact! Hmm? I said an out-of-place artifact, not implants! So what exactly is an out-of-place artifact? It's an item found within a time period when it should have been technologically impossible to have been built. You certainly wouldn't expect to find a 1,300-year-old smartphone, would you? That, my friends, is incontrovertible proof that there's something down there. Oh, and by the way, it was found by someone that you know, me. Even after a millennium underground, its data is intact. 
Today we discovered the password that unlocks it. The password is carrots are delicious. Silly, huh? Oh no, the wallpaper on that phone is a dead giveaway. Finally! Oh. Activate! Uh. Oh my! How cute! Isn't that sweet? Mr. Masaki, it appears for over 1,300 years. You've been a cradle robber. Pervert. Tenchi, how did this picture get... You backstabber, how could you? It's not what you think. That's just a picture from the time we all went to the beach together. That was so much fun. Where's all the rest of your friends then? Come on, guys. Can't you see that Washu's been messing with my phone setting? <gasps> what was that? It's the student council. So they finally resorted to force. <laughs> He's sure gotten a lot stronger since sports day. Tori! His security systems have been reinforced. I can't hack in. Then that means we'll just have to hack in ourselves. Give us back, Mr. Tenchi! And Sasami right now! down there is nothing more than a bunch of disposable objects. But to you, I think it's much more important than that. <laughs> Look how many helpers you have here. You'd be foolish to let a chance like this pass you by. You stay here. Okay, Rui, let's go. It's time for us to finally show the student council what the science club is made of. Right. Hold on. Huh? We just need to hold him back for a little while, right? That sounds like a lot more fun than digging a stupid hole. If they're trying to mess with our Tenshi, that makes them our enemies, too. Enemies might be overstating it a little. With 95% probability, it looks like Tenshi and Sasami are underneath us, right about here. There should be some stairs in this vicinity. Ah! We've got to meet up with Momo and Fuyama quickly. Uh, uh, there's a stairwell around the corner. I can't let you use the stairs, ladies. Then you're going down! Hmm. So bring it on. All right. Tell us more about this treasure. What is it anyway? We don't know. That's why we just call it treasure. If we keep digging down here at random, I know we're gonna find it eventually. Mm. Can you narrow it down a little? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Stronger than I thought you'd be. Love strengthens me. Hold it right there, old woman. You're not fighting very fair. You called me an old woman. I was going to try and deal with you gently, but that crack was way over the line. Maybe you'll watch your mouth next time. Uh, are you in one piece? Talk to me. What in the world? I thought you would be more of a gentleman with me because you're attracted to women with nice butts. Hey, that's not true! And now I have the proof that you can't be trusted to uphold a lady's honor. Huh? How dare you canoodle on the beach with Sasami! I wasn't canoodling! Uh, yeah! Yeah! Intruder alert's been activated. What's happening? What are you waiting for? Huh? Now's your chance! Get moving! Hurry up and find it! 
Wait, I know that voice. Yeah, there's no doubt who it is. You're absolutely right. It's Washu. What the hell is going on here? I already told you. You have the key to the treasure's location. Do not keep me waiting. Oh, we've been given a mission. Miss Momo, may I? Of course. It's very close. In fact, it's buried right below us. So all we have to do is a little diggy Sasami! Oh! I was so worried about my little Sasami! Are you okay? That was so tense. She didn't do anything awful to you, did he? You poor little thing! My time is over! ship has started to activate. It's been buried here this whole time. What? Really? It was Momo, Kinajo, and the sword. Apparently, they were the keys that Washu was looking for. Tell ya, that was a hell of an experience. Who would have ever thought? Oh. That a ship from Jirai could have been buried underneath the school for all this time and nobody knew it. If the ship's startup sequence had been completed, we'd all have gotten swept up and be lost in space now. That was a close call for sure. Lucky for us, it was out of fuel. So what in the world do we do next? We finally find the Jirai sword and the Earth swallows it up and we lose track of it. I'm sure Tenshi will come up with something. Why haven't you guys gone back to your own dorm rooms yet? There's still a chance that Science Club will kidnap you. Seems to be about an 80% chance. We decided it would be safer for us to stay here tonight. I'm not sure about that. Time to get under the covers with Mr. Tenchi. <laughs> it's time for you children to run along home now. Uh, whatever you say, Ahika. I thought that maybe I would make a scrumptious dinner for all of you as a way of saying thanks for saving us. I may not look the part, but I am an excellent cook. Oh, yeah? Is that supposed to be some sort of a challenge? Ryoko, I thought we talked about the nudity. We don't have anything to hide from each other, do we? Don't you see that people are going to take this the wrong way? The challenge is on. You and I will have a cook-off battle. This is one battle I can't let you fight. The best home cooking for Mr. Tenchi wins. I can do it, I'm sure. Oh, this is going to be good. We're very sorry. Things just went terribly wrong today, and we lost the key. Oh, that's okay. Huh? You mean you're not upset at us for this? 
Not so much. I mean, it's good enough for me to know that the key and the treasure are really there. Now you just have to go dig them back up. But the big cavern they're in is completely destroyed. Then we don't have any money left to pay for anything. What are you talking about? If you give up, the game's already over. <gasps> if you've got no funds, then go and gather some. If you have no help, then go and demand some. How do we do that? Through an election, of course. All you have to do is run for student council president and take over the school. It's easy. Oh, that sounds like a great plan. Go out there and give it your best shot. Remember the gods of victory favor those who keep trying. We can do this! Let the cooking battle begin! You never know, we might get a great meal out of this. I wouldn't bet on that. By the way, if that sword's the final key, does that mean those two are... Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any doubt about that. So when do you think we should tell them the truth? I'm not sure. I was considering not telling them and seeing what happens. What? But if you do, Washu's gonna... I know, you're right. It's just that I have a real funny feeling about this. This is the bag that Kasami was sitting in. Oh. You're right. That voice absolutely belongs to Washu. That's quite the big catch we've stumbled upon. And to think those girls were the source of the singularity. We've found both the proof and the culprit behind the space-time warp. Mihoshi, you've done great work. <laughs> Why, thank you. I'll report this to Galaxy Police Headquarters. You stay where you are and keep up the investigation. Roger that. Honored directors of the Scientific Academy, thanks for your patience. We did not come here to wait for you. This is unacceptable. I'm terribly sorry for that, but unfortunately it could not be helped. We all have other things that need attending to. Please, get to your report. I have some good news and some bad news. Which one would you like me to start with? We don't care, just begin. Then I'll start off with the positive. We've received some solid intel about who's behind the space-time warp. Well, that is good news. Great. Who is this criminal? I'm afraid this is where the bad news begins. Go on. The person behind the space-time warp is... Washu. It's Washu Hakubi. Therefore, I request your permission to arrest her and bring her in immediately. Do you read? It's the chief here. I'm about to dispatch the special forces team for this mission. It's extreme, but I'm afraid you'll need them. Listen up. You have to assume the worst and act accordingly. Move out! That's good. Very sexy. All right, now, look this way. That's right. Good. Good. What in the world are you two doing here? What's it look like? Isn't it obvious? I wouldn't be asking <laughs> if it were obvious! <laughs> uh, you're supposed to be creating campaign material. I've never seen a campaign use sexy time photos like the ones you're taking. I mean, seriously? Hotchko, are you paying attention to this nonsense? Hmm. Listen up. We only have three days until the election, people, and we have competition. Yuki Fuka is a tough candidate. Well, based on the current student polls, Momo is beating Fuka by a landslide. It's hard to believe she could lose. Maybe in a normal election. Unfortunately, this is the science club we're talking about. We can't assume that they will act like honorable people. Those guys, they're tougher to get rid of than a bad case of food poisoning. Ugh. We've got to do this right! It's... Oh, are you all right? Yep, check this out. What is this? It's the new campaign poster, of course. What? Huh? Now that looks great. Don't you think it's a little stiff? We should have used this picture. It's a... like this poster just the way it is. I mean, everybody helped with the design of it, after all. Now that is one crappy poster. Huh? There's no need to be so uptight. We're just here to hang up a few posters ourselves. Let's go, Rui. Um, okay. Awesome, huh? <clears throat> mm hmm What are you all implying? Seriously? Well... You've increased your boobs 250%. Cheating the size of your assets! This isn't cheating, it's just politics. Everyone enhances their photos. It won't make a difference. 
Momo's going to win the race and continue as student council president. That's cute. Keep that thought as long as you can. Let's go, Rui. Great. They have some scheme up their sleeve. I just know it. Girls, we need to get serious. Hmm. Yes, yes. There's enough of me to go around for everyone. This is certainly odd. Fuka seems to be closing the gap in the polls. Definitely cheap. That can't be true. They wouldn't do that. I'm sure they're doing the best they can. I hope you're right, but I doubt it. There's one more number that is bothering me. Here's an expense report from the dining hall. The fact is, their balance this month is way out of line. Who's eating there doesn't usually change, yet the sales are much lower for this period. Huh? You don't mean... Thanks in advance. Huh? What's this for? Don't worry about it. It's just my way of saying thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> yeah, there's one more vote. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Why, of course, I would love to shake your hand. Thank you very much. Huh? A meal ticket? Don't worry about it. It's just a small thank you. In exchange, you can help me. You know, the student council election? All right, see ya. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, one meal ticket's all you get. <laughs> What's so funny, anyway? Did you think I was just another student who could be bought off? Well, guess what, you cheater? You're busted! Fuka, you attempted to bribe a voter! Ugh. Bribery is such an ugly way to spin it. I'm just giving a little token of my appreciation in return for their support. That's the <laughs> definition of bribery! Look it up! That's not all we've got on you! Someone confess! <laughs> We have proof that you forged the meal ticket. Your friend here told us everything. You moron! I'm so sorry! Fuka, just admit that you made a mistake. You can start over if you'll just be honest. <laughs> Looks like she's hiding another dirty trick. Stop playing games, Fuka. <sighs> okay, you win. Here. natural to help. It's just that, never mind. Another thing. Now my debts to you are all repaid, Mr. Tenchi. One thing we've learned today. The Science Club will do anything to win. Maybe you should take a little break. <clears throat> we may be in the middle of an election. But I can't afford to get behind in all of my regular duties. I'll just finish this pile. Okay. Uh, oh boy, that's heavy. Welcome back. Uh, I'm exhausted. Hey, what's in the box? It's filled with evidence of the science club's cheating. Oh. Hmm. How in the world do they cheat with this? Try writing something with it. It's a regular pen. Trust me, just wait a little longer. Hmm. What? It vanished! Tricky. The plan was to slip those pens into the voting booths and make a lot of ballots invalid. What about this? Go ahead, try putting a ballot into the slot and see what happens. Huh? How'd the name get changed? Check up there. There's a small printer installed in the top of the box. Look at that. Huh. This isn't really the time to appreciate their work. If they've got tools like this, then we can't win by playing fair. Fuka, 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 Fuka. What are 
are those things? Talking slippers. I guess she's taking any steps possible to make sure she's a shoe in Hello? Huh? Whoa! Hey, this makes your voice sound funny. This sure came up with a lot of ways to get attention. <laughs> it just sounds so silly. The very first time I tried it, I was literally addicted. Did you ever think to try and get help for this problem? It never crossed my mind. I thought I could control it. I mean, I like to pet kittens. Is that a crime? They're so darn cute. Did you take this cute kitten video and post it online so the whole world could see it? Well, I hope you've learned something. Hmm. I have to admit, it's strange. What is? What is? Tell me! The science club's behavior. What is it that you suspect about the science club exactly? Tell this humble reporter. Come on, tell me! <laughs> Owie! In any case, something's not right. The whole group was way too quick to give up. They admitted they were cheating with this stuff and just handed it over. It doesn't make sense that people who cheat so easily would give in so easily. Something else is going on. Right? Shady, shady! And it's gone! <laughs> Do I have your attention? I'm trying to tell you the science club hasn't given up. We've got a problem. What's the matter? Check this out. Is this really true? Momo? I'm what the already world are on you going it. on about? <gasps> Newspaper club's not involved. They say they have no knowledge as to who released this info and that it was distributed on campus without the newspaper's assistance. Mm. It says that teacher's aide Tenshi Masaki was captured in a scandal with the student council president, violating student-teacher boundaries. That's a lie. You and Mr. Tenshi haven't done anything improper at all. What matters is how the school's going to deal with this, and when. Mr. Tenshi, report to the principal's office at once. It's urgent. <laughs> Momo! you know why you've been called in to see me. Actually, can I tell you what's been going on here, please? Uh, ow! The photographs are the proof. How can you possibly defend these actions? The photographs are clear, but the headlines are not telling the truth. Whether the article tells the truth or not is irrelevant. The problem is this scandal should never have occurred. I mm -hmm. warned you not to be too touchy-feely with the students. I'm so sorry. Let me huh? in! Please, it's Momo Kawanagare. We're busy now. Come back later. It's about the matter in this school newspaper. I believe this discussion concerns me as well. You should be aware that in this photo, a student's face can't be seen, so she can't be officially identified. The school has no intention of punishing you. <sighs> but if you walk through that door, you'll become part of the scandal. The school will have no choice but to deal with you for your involvement. Don't do it! Don't get involved! I'm coming in! I won't deny it, the student in that photograph is me. Mr. Tenshi, when they took that photo, had we done anything wrong? Absolutely not. Then why not be completely open about it? Very bold. Since you admit it's you in the photo, the school will have no choice but to take some sort of action. For the record, can you explain what is taking place in these photos? And don't try to pass it off as just an accident. That answer won't be sufficient. All right. What we did was definitely not an accident. But if you ask me, that's not even the point. Tell me something, what did we actually do wrong? What did you do wrong? Huh. We've got a student and a teacher in a classroom and they're embracing. And what's the problem with that? Hmm? That picture reflects what truly happened there and I don't think it's against any rules. It was nothing more than a friendly hug. <laughs> All right then. Let's just see how well your reasoning holds up. We'll put this matter on hold and see if the majority of the student body agrees with you during the upcoming election. Think they'll keep you in office? If that's the outcome, we'll just make this little matter go away. <sighs> you know something? You were pretty amazing back there. I knew that nobody would ever be able to accept that picture as a complete accident, so I took responsibility and owned it. I can't begin to tell you how scared I was. I bet. If I wasn't running for student council president again, this wouldn't have happened. 
But you're running for all the right reasons. You care about each and every student here at the school. So try not to let this silly thing bother you. I do care, but that's not all. I also want to be a homing beacon. I want to be in a place where I can shine so brightly that anybody, no matter how far away, would be able to find me and know that I'm right here. Does that sound really stupid to you? Not at all. There's nothing wrong with striving to make that happen. And you know, I have a feeling that someone may have found you already and you just don't know it yet. That's really kind of you to say that. And it gives me hope and courage. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to win the debate. Great. It's finally time for the big debate. Fuka's closed the gap in the polls with her cheating. It's now dead even. We have to stay focused. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Mr. Tenchi! I think it's about time to go to our seats, girls. Momo, you'll be wonderful. Thanks. I can't really take sides for this, but, well, you know. Thank you, Mr. Tenchi. It means a lot to me that you feel that way. I appreciate your support. Mr. Tenchi, I have the weirdest feeling, like I've known you before. Like these hands have been protecting me, not just now, but for a long time. Oh. Now, time to win a debate! Hmm. As your student council president, I promise you this. First, free school lunches, and I'll double the budgets on all student activities. You're going to be rolling in so much money, you're not going to believe it! What? Of course, there's no way to deliver on either of those promises. What a lot of hot air! Well, more politics as usual, I see. What? Fuka's poll numbers are climbing like crazy. And that's not all, people! To protect the dignity of the school, I promise to stamp out this kind of scandalous behavior. It certainly appears that the student in this photo is Miss Momo Kawanagari. That's correct. The student who appears in that photograph is me. Are you aware of what you just said to everyone? The person you're hugging in that picture is a teacher. He's a student teacher, but a teacher nonetheless. I'm well aware. You are? There's something I don't understand about all this. Miss hmm? Fuka here seems to be suggesting that this kind of behavior should not be allowed. For what possible reason should that be prohibited? It's so obvious! One of the two is in a position of authority! Regardless, it's just between two people. Everybody knows that. It's natural that two people can develop feelings for each other. It's common sense. Feelings of respect or trust, friendship, distrust, hatred, or even love. I just cannot believe that you would find it wrong for someone to feel love for someone else. Cut this every nonsense! Some relationships are just completely unacceptable! Maybe, but people are certainly responsible for the things they say and do in the name of love. And yes, they can make mistakes because of love, but that's forgivable. Love is the one true thing that binds people together. Love forms societies. Love forms families. It nurtures life. Love is the root of everything. So I'm not ashamed. And no one can make me feel ashamed for embracing the power of love. The truth of the matter is, I do have special feelings for another person, and I'm proud of that! It's routine police activity, Mr. High Commissioner. Your UN Committee on Extraterrestrial Cultural Negotiation has been notified. What we're doing is covered under the Okayama Protocol. Our actions are entirely legal. That's nonsense! Nothing about this is legal. The Protocol allows aliens to travel to Okayama in small numbers only, not hordes. 12,000 galaxy policemen is far too many. It's a violation of the agreement. Mr. High Commissioner, I'm afraid we disagree. Compared with the entire extraterrestrial population, I'd say a mere 12,000 is small. Let's show him. Sir! 
If the singularity is left unchecked, in 24 hours, the space-time warp will reach its limit. Then, not only will the Earth be doomed, but the universe itself could split. We've sent you copies of our findings, Commissioner. Your scientists can go over them and explain the rest. No, wait! That's assuming Earth scientists can understand them at all. This just in. Breaking news from outer space. According to urgent reports coming from the United Nations Space Observation Center, a damaged Russian satellite has fallen out of its orbit and is currently plummeting towards Earth. The news hasn't reported where it will hit, but we've gotten word. The satellite's point of impact is going to be near Takahashi. Since that's near us, we're evacuating the campus. So what's gonna happen with the election? That has been canceled. Are you serious? Self-defense forces are bringing helicopters. They're on their way. As members of the student council, you must help with the evacuation. Right! right. All area inhabitants set to be evacuated within the next 30 minutes local time. <laughs> Guess they did understand. Galaxy Police SWAT forces confirmed deployed. They are posing as JDSF and police. Step one, we fire the Dimension Oscillator Bomb at the Singularity's locale, thereby using waves in the opposite phase to negate the waves emitted by the Dimensional Warp. This will then diminish the effects of the Singularity. Step two, use an energy field to isolate the area. Step three, apprehend both the Singularity and Washu while at the same time recovering the dimensional controller and putting the dimensions back the way they should be. This strategy cannot fail, it's flawless. Of course it is. So the only ones left are you four and the teachers. You ready? Time to go. Hold on a second. Rui Aoi, Benny Kinojo, and Yuki Fuka. None of them are accounted for, they didn't evacuate. What? Where are they? They could be in the old building. It's Momo! Get in the helicopter! We have to go! I'll get them. Hold on! Go, Mr. Tenchi! Why, you? Take care of Mr. Momo! Hmm. Two, one, zero. On my mark, and fire! Bombs away. Ignition confirmed. 60 minutes to impact. No way! Absolutely no way! But Yuki! I won't leave! I think they're all lying! What are you three doing out here? Hurry and get in the helicopter! <sighs> A satellite's just gonna fall out of space and somehow manage to land right here? Oh, how convenient. This is obviously a setup. Someone's trying to swoop in and steal our treasure! That is ridiculous. This thing's a government conspiracy! She's overthinking this. There's no conspiracy. You're just tired. Come quietly. Nobody <sighs> needs to get hurt. Dimension Oscillator Bomb is on target and beginning its descent. Okay, Miss Kurihara, we found the remaining students. The campus is empty. Excellent. Arrest them. Map! <laughs> what is this? What on earth do you think you're doing? Playtime's over, Mr. Masaki. Captain, incoming message. Dimension oscillator bomb arrives in 45 minutes. So you've been in disguise before I even arrived. Take them to the bomb shelter, officer. Right away. I promise I'll explain everything soon. <laughs> Ryoko! Run for it, Tenchi! None of these guys are from planet Earth! I'm gonna spare your life, Captain, but only this one time. Diversion. Ah! Captain, you weren't injured, were you? I'm fine. Just get the wounded to the shelter. What about the singularity? Our targets could only be going to one place. 
Surveillance report. Movement detected on the roof of the structure. What? Is it her? Could be a decoy. Quick, scan to verify. Status of the dimension oscillator bomb? It's entering the atmosphere now. Within the next hour, the satellite will crash in Japan. The President of the United States has announced his country will send aid to the affected areas. Composite elements, gravitational profile, and brain waves are all a perfect match. This is Washu Hakabe. I've been waiting for this day a long time now. You're finished. The universe will no longer be your plaything. Your disruption ends here. My SWAT teams are going to bring you down. just waltz onto my playground and take over? You've got some nerve, my friend. Hmm. Oh, good. You made it. Nice work getting away. Bless you, it's you. What the heck is going on? Why don't we save all the details for later? Get moving. The Galaxy Police are on their way over here. Master Tenchi, Ryoko, take those two and head down below. As for you, you girls are going to help me ambush those alien nitwits. I know that voice. You're the one we heard? This is Galaxy Police SWAT. We've got the building completely surrounded. You're sweating, rookie. A little nervous? Yeah, I mean, I'm okay. You're gonna want to change out your equipment. The gun's no good for what we're up against. Roger that. There's no shame in being scared, kid. This is Washu Hakabe we're talking about. Behind the Academy's back, she did whatever she wanted and called it research. Who knows how many planets she destroyed. No one's counted them all, but she's never shown one shred of remorse. Her eyes are as cold as ice. She is evil. Don't you think she should be stopped? I do. Are you serious? You're saying we're not from Earth? I don't understand. I know it sounds unbelievable, but it's the truth. 1,300 years ago, you and Kina Joe were caught in a dimensional warp and flung to Earth. Eventually, you wound up here in the present day. But this is the place where everything started all those years ago. So, it's right that it ends here as well. What? You're still digging down here? Should I not be? Looks like they disarmed my booby traps. Well, good for them. You're nuts! You want me to squeeze down in there? You have to. Ugh. No barricades or force fields. This should be a piece of cake. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are aliens or what, but you're not getting past me. Go around her, huh? Not them using any deadly weapons. Not on the humans. Their weapons are a joke. A wooden stick. Primitive savages. Watch your mouth. They're my students. You girls, you both need to stop. If you resist, you'll lose all credit you earned this year and be expelled. That's not fair. Oh. Well, at least they bought us some time. <laughs> it's almost here. I'd never do this for anyone but Tenshi. Uh. Is that it? Dimension Oscillator Bomb will impact in T-minus five minutes. All area SWAT teams, seek shelter immediately. They began the ground assault too early. 
They were supposed to start after impact. Don't worry, nothing can stop us now. Hmm. Take it easy, you're okay. There you go. What did you just do? The dimensional warp appears to be nearing its limit. My power can help for now, but not forever. What now? We have a report from the surveillance team. Someone repositioned the antenna on the school's roof. Have Unit 3 destroy it right away. But Captain, the Dimension Oscillator Not bomb... Not so fast. Mm -hmm. huh? <clears throat> the Galaxy Police are currently in violation of the Okayama Protocol. As a royal princess of Jirai, I can't let you continue your illegal actions. Who cares? Arrest them too. A gravitational distortion is being emitted from the antenna. Its size is incredible, and there seems to be an event horizon forming. A black hole creator. So, this was the ace up her sleeve. Nice move. Sending Black Hole to Parallel Dimension. Such a waste of effort. There's a high-energy signature near the antenna. It's a robot! It appears to be absorbing pieces of the building and getting bigger! A robot? Have impact and detonation. been activated. Anti-phase dimensional waves are oscillating. Good. Tell them to send the SWAT team back in. Huh? What the heck? These weren't here before. <laughs> here, take it. But once I use that, I won't be me anymore. I'll be a totally different person. I'm afraid so. But if you don't get your butts back to the past, this whole planet's gonna be blown into little pieces. Hey, don't say that. And why not? It's the truth. Just take the thing, will you? Yeah! Shut up for a second. I know this is scary, but I will protect you. Always. <laughs> Show yourself, Washu. I hear you. I'm right here. No need to shout. We anticipated your move. It's over for you. Really? Is that so? Something's taken control of the dimensional oscillation. They hacked the energy field. We can't isolate the malware. Since they were given to me, I might as well use the tools. You pirate! Ah! Nice try. 
Bye-bye, but you're not quite ready to play with the big girls yet. Wow, Miss Washu, you are just so incredible. Oh, well, it comes naturally. I was only looking around to restock my snacks, but instead, I found you. I'm gonna arrest you now, okay? Damn it, I completely forgot about this airhead. I'm such an idiot. That's good. Nice and slow. Okay. Oh. Ah. Did it activate? Not yet. This is from something else. Ah. What now? What's going on? Something's wrong with the dimensional oscillations. No, this shouldn't be. <laughs> you dimwits really thought you could control a hyperdimensional world? You're gonna fix this. But I didn't break it. Are these peach blossom petals? So familiar. Field. Do you have some kind of death wish? Let me go! this place hmm? oh. <laughs> go on a huh? huh? <sighs> did they get transported somewhere else sign it's down here her huh? ship the peach blossom it's at the bottom of that hole you're sure hey wait <laughs> what the hell were you thinking that's got to be hundreds of feet down you'd never survive i have to get down there now uh, what if i carry you the rest of the way that's fine Sorry you're locked up, but you're difficult to catch. You have eluded us up to now, Washu Hakobi, but not anymore. Justice has finally caught up with you, and you're going to pay, starting with 70,000 years hard labor. Whatever. I did the crime, I'll do the time. How admirable of you. Ah! That is, if you live long enough to take me in. I'm sorry, but who are you? And how is it that you know my name? Are you the school psychologist they just hired? What is it? Did my teacher say I'm acting strange? You've got it wrong. I know this place. It's kind of far away, but it's quiet, and I could be alone with my thoughts here. It honestly helps me study, I swear. Not that I always do great on tests, but I'm working very hard to get better. Uh, it's getting late. I need to go home now. Goodbye. Momo! Uh Is 
this place? Am I still in the same dimension or somewhere else? Huh? Momo? Huh? What in the world is going on? Have I gone back in time? I'm sorry. Do I know you? Uh... Does this hole have a bottom? Hey, are you certain there's really a ship down here? What if we go straight through the Earth and pop out on the other side? Gee, lady, can't you even crack a smile? Not when she needs me. You mean Miss Momo? When I had no idea what my purpose was or how to use my power, she helped me find my way. Protecting her isn't just my job. It's a sacred duty. Look, I'm only helping you out here because of Tenchi. I don't really need to know your entire life story. <laughs> this is awful! If the rift keeps expanding like this, it won't just engulf the Earth. It'll swallow up every star and planet in this whole system. <sighs> Fine, then shut it down. We can't, sir. If you can't, then tell me who can. able to stop this without your help. Well, I would help, but there's not much I can do if I'm stuck behind bars. Of course, if someone were able to fix that situation, I'd gladly lend a hand. Just what are you implying? All the stuff that I did that you arrested me for. Make it go away. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Because I'm new here, everyone treats me like I'm from another planet. Maybe I just wasn't meant to have any friends. They'll come around. Huh? Just give it some time. Once people know you, you'll make lots of friends. Uh, you think so? Yeah. supposed to do on behalf of the galaxy police i hereby pardon washu hakobi an exonerator of all her past offenses thank you now that i'm free you've got a deal congratulations on being an honest citizen again all right then this has gone on long enough time to fix things i've got to hold up my end of the bargain this is one creepy place there it is. This is a Jirai ship? I can't believe the thing's still functioning. It's intact, so it shouldn't be completely shut down. Oh, <laughs> we better get moving. Ryoko, are you there? Washu? That's right, the greatest genius in the whole galaxy. And the prettiest, too. About a mile or so beneath the school. I'm down here with that Kinajo girl. We're staring at an old Jirai ship. Excellent! Does the ship look okay? There's a big-ass tree growing out of it, but the kid says it'll still work. That right? Uh, yeah, it should. Kinajo, you think you can get it started up? If the main systems grant me access, I can. Let's hope they do. I think I know what's going on. And the answer's in that ship. your progress. Everything's almost done, boss. We'll get it going soon. You've become such a team player, Puka. I like it. Just connect this end. Transmitting. Hands up! Uh. <laughs> you three did this? Is this 
just revenge because I ran for president? I'd never vote for anyone but Momo. Is this really the time to talk politics? Look sharp back up here. Lower your weapons. We need to evacuate. That's an order. Now go. You should all leave as well. Run as far as you can. <laughs> Momo. Mr. Tenchi. her I get sent somewhere else are we stuck like this forever can't we at least get back to where we started I've got control of the oscillator try it now okay Running. Let's hope it has enough power to get the job done. forget where I'd been. Little by little, everything was slipping away. It was strange. I thought I might just disappear completely. But then, when I gripped this sword, I felt stronger. And somehow I was able to reach you. Glad it worked. Mr. Tenchi? What is it, Momo? During all that jumping around in time, I was chasing after you, but were you trying to find me too? Yeah. I didn't know what to do, so I looked all over for you. I wanted to swoop in like a knight and come to your rescue, but that didn't work out. It's okay. Even though you couldn't help me, seeing how hard you tried made me really happy. Well, for now, we got to figure out how we're going to get back. Maybe if we combined our powers again... Mr. Tenchi? Hmm? When you arrived here, your first day as a student teacher, do you still remember it? Yeah. Maybe not the best first day ever. Some people gave me a pretty rough time. However, despite everything that happened, I'm still glad I was able to have the experience. <laughs> Your experience just made me remember something from way back when I was a little girl. You knew me and Benny in the past, didn't you, Mr. Tenchi? That's who you're really trying to help, isn't it? Uh... If everything goes back to the way it's supposed to be, then I won't be who I am now, will I? Uh... Well, it's all right. Pretty much what I thought. The power output is slowing. How much does the ship have left? We're out of time. I wanted to stay a little longer, but it looks like I can't. I could still try to use my power. Oh. It's too late. I'm fading. Yet even though I'm about to disappear, I'm so happy I got to meet everyone, especially you, Mr. Tenchi. And you as well. <laughs> uh. Mr. Tenchi, I'll miss you. Uh. There's a lost little girl who's waiting for you. Go find her, and please don't forget me. Uh. Momo! I'll see you so 
someday. Momo. That nice lady was right. You're here. What lady was that? I don't know. I was lost and she said to wait. She said someone would find me and help me get home. Welcome back. Sorry it took so long. Let's get you home. Okay. Sorry, I scared you. So, ready to head back home? right past me without even saying a word. That's not very nice, Tenshi. You were sleeping. I was trying to be quiet. I was just waiting for you with my eyes closed. What are you doing? Let go of him, Ryoko. You're being a big nuisance. You're the one who's a big nuisance. Excuse me? Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Did I find something or not? Hmm. What is it, Mihoshi? What are you doing over there? Treasure hunting. Now that I know the secret technique, I'm really into it. Aren't those divining rods, though? Yeah. They seem to be reacting to something nearby, but I can't quite find it. I wonder if it's buried somewhere under the building or hidden. It's probably just an old bone some dog left. Ooh. Lunch time! Come and get it while it's hot! Well, finally! You were taking so long, I thought that lunch might not be ready until dinner. Yeah! What's on the menu? I hope something yummy. I don't care how it's I don't know. I guess we'll just have to find out. Mm -hmm. It's a secret. I love secrets. We love mm -hmm. everything. See you again someday, Mr. Tenshi. <laughs> <laughs> 